right, with that, let's check with meteorologist Trevor Burchett. No tornadoes here, but definitely some significant flooding. Yeah, lots of flooding. Mother Nature always keeping us on our toes. You know, those are the coolest tornadoes to see as long as they're not hitting anything. Those land spouts are always so beautiful, especially out on the front range of the Rockies. They're great until they hit something, then they turn bad. And similarly with flooding, we don't want to deal with it, especially when it's affected people's homes like it has been here in our neck of the woods. And that is what has been happening. Unfortunately, there's the potential for more of that as we go later today. So more spotty storms going to pop back up later on this afternoon. That could, of course, it's not going to help the flash flooding. It's going to hurt it. If anything, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, though, as we go into the early portion of next week. I want to show you first these rainfall totals in the last seven days. Oxford, that is not a typo. We didn't put an extra one there. Over a foot of rainfall in Lafayette County, over a foot in Clarksdale as well. That uh, 278 Highway 278 corridor has just really been pummeled and really all of North Mississippi. You go into West Tennessee, really not much rain, only a trace of rain in Dyersburg three quarters of an inch of rain in Jackson. And again, those flash flood watches and warnings continue. Everything in lime green is a flood warning. That is an area where flooding is actually occurring and you see most of North Mississippi right now under some type of flood warning. Now a little bit of good news. There is no rain happening right now on radar, maybe a little bit out there in like Chester County, Madison County, uh, but for the most part that is moving away from us right now. We are dry as of the lunchtime hour, and I think we stay that way at least for a little bit. We're going to leave in a chance for storms, at least for the next several hours, but the better chance for rain is going to come in by this evening. That's when we're going to have more and more pop up storms slowly but surely developing. This might be a little easier to see on hour by hour. Again, right now, nothing going on, but as we go into two, three, four o'clock, this model wants to pop up even more showers and storms uh, right in North Mississippi, the area that really doesn't need any more rain. That is where those storms could fire up and those will continue into the evening. I do think overnight tonight the rain exits. It'll be a mostly dry night, uh, but then once again tomorrow, the more another chance for even more pop up storms. So today and tomorrow combined, we could easily pick up another half an inch to an inch of rain and unfortunately again most of that happening in North Mississippi. So tonight maybe a sprinkle early mostly dry those 72 degrees for your low should be a pretty nice night. And here is the good news that light at the end of the tunnel. Our rain chances are on the way down a 60% chance of rain this afternoon, 50% tomorrow afternoon, and then basically lower for the weekend. Still a chance of a pop up storm Saturday or Sunday, uh, but it's a much lower chance. And then going into early next week, no rain on Monday and just a very, very slight chance of a sprinkle Tuesday night into Wednesday. So that is some fantastic news. I think if we can just get past the next couple of days, we'll be in good shape. But again, spotty storms today, spotty storms tomorrow. The weekend mostly dry, but it is going to be hot. 91 degrees for our high on Saturday and Sunday. That humidity is back too. Sunshine continues in early next week. Maybe a sprinkle Tuesday night. Temperatures a little more comfortable going into next Wednesday.